Step in the box, baseball fans. We're back this morning with another episode. Happy Friday. We've got a little mixer here. Got some 2020 Series 1 single packs. Scored a 2019 update hanger box. Got one hanger box of 2020 Series 2. And I was really hoping to get more of these. These are the uh, Meyer exclusive blister packs. Only got four of them. Total bummer. Um, hey, man, when there's a dozen people waiting at your Meyer in line and you got to split them, like seriously, a dozen people waiting for cards. Let's step in the box. Let's get after this. I did score four Bowman Blasters at a Meyer right afterwards, so, and these packs here. Let's step in this. Let's see what we got. Single packs. Even had coupons for a dollar off these packs from the uh, Utz program. So those came in. Um, the Cubs rookie, Garcia. Those came in handy. Gold card out of 2020 Dodgers team card. Let's see what we got. Turkey red of Yadier Molina. And then... Couple base, so not the greatest of packs there. Yeah, the card game in my area is totally insane. Battling the guys who want cards. Many of them are flippers or opening online. So it's been tough, man, it has been tough. So you're either there or you're not. So that that mire is very predictable. So guys start lining up. I used to, uh, for example, last summer, every Friday I'd go in the afternoon and I was buying every single blister pack there was. Nobody was buying them. I was driving around the Chicago area buying blister packs. My favorite product last year. But this year, they have been hard to come by. There's an Ela Jimenez insert. Rookie card, Lazardo, Turkey Red. Let's keep it going. So yeah, after this one, after this little mixer, I am going to uh, do the four Bowman Blasters. I can't believe, first time I've seen Bowman Blasters in a long time. And there's a nice looking card. Little Mike Trout, Top's Choice. I like that card. I'm going to put that over here. I'm going to keep that looking nice. Another rookie turkey red. So, unfortunately, no Jordan Alvarez, no Bo Bichette, no Gavin Lux yet. A couple Cubs, but not the Nico Horner. Somebody said that Nico, or not Nico Horner, but... uh. Jordan Alvarez is missing in action. Hasn't reported to camp yet. That's a, wasn't sure about that one. There's Will Clark. Walker Bueller. So single packs. I believe I paid with the coupon two bucks a piece for these. And so far, nothing. All it takes is one of the big rookies, though. Just give me one base of any of those guys. Get it graded. And there is a Trevor Bauer. Look pink for a second. That's the thing with single packs. Yeah. It's tough going in single packs. I'm excited. I'm going to save those purple parallels. Let's see how hard those open this year. Chipper Jones, Glaber Torres. So striking out on the single packs here, 16 cards in each pack. There's an Acuna, Jimenez Cup. The stupid Tops Now card, I hate these cards. Card of a card, Acuna, Turkey Red. 
Another Cubs rookie, not Nico Horner though, unfortunately. And last pack, so these nine Series 2 packs, single packs, have not been good. It's one of the reasons, and as I say that, we pull one Jordan. That makes up for it. So, thank you for the last pack love on those. Keep that one looking nice. Looks fairly good overall. So that saved those packs. That one will go to grading sooner or later. And there is a Keston. Another Walker Bueller Turkey Red. And there's the base. Let me do some housekeeping to get those out of the way. Big stack of base. Got the stack of inserts. Some rookies. All right, let's let's uh, let's do, I'm gonna do the 2020 Series 2 hanger box. I should, I shouldn't have bought this one there. I should have bought the one at Walmart. These are like $11.99 at Meijer, but I didn't know if they'd have any at Walmart. I only bought one, could have bought way more. Nobody was really buying all this here. They were just buying the blister packs, which is a bummer because I wanted to buy them all. Used to be a hidden secret. Okay, here we go. This guy might be, this guy right here could be the real deal. That could be the next rookie card that takes off out of Series 2. Since I can't say his name, it's pretty difficult, but... He might be the real deal. Haven't opened up very many of these hanger boxes. My brother-in-law, if he's watching, he's picked me up some uh, some of these from Walgreens down in his area. So I'll be getting those in a couple weeks when I go visit. And there we go. That's why we bought it. The one we buy, we get a Louie. Sweet. So... So far, we've gotten a couple big rookies. These things are going for 20 bucks a piece. Not graded, which is totally insane. So that was worth it just for the box there. And then let's see what we get on inserts because I have no idea who any of these other guys are, really. You know, the thing is, there's no really... Even the big stars aren't really in this series, too. So... Louis Robert is pushing this product. It's funny. On release, hobby boxes were going for a decent amount. And then, is there a turkey red with Louis Robert on it? Chrome? That would be awesome if there was. Didn't even think about that. And we got a Noah Syndergaard. And, ooh, dang. All right, next card's pretty nice. Just, man, I wish it was Louis Robert. So I'm going to put that one in a top loader. Syndergaard, turkey, uh, Syndergaard, turkey red chrome. I think these are awesome. I, I, don't, I haven't even, don't even know. If Louis Robert was on these, that would be amazing because those look. So this card is a dark horse. Father's Day blue out of 50. 30 out of 50. It is a, it is a freaking rookie. Jonathan Daza from the Rockies. He's an outfielder. He had 387 at bats, 11 home runs. Dang. 364 average in the minor leagues. Wow. All right. Well, put that in the hit pile. Decades best, Albert Pujols. We have Correa, and then here's some turkey red rookies. Dang, there's one, two, three, and a Giolito. So several turkey red rookies. So that was not bad. There's the stack of base. Have some there. All right. Let's do the... 19 update hanger box. These things are amazing. 
Let's see here. It's looking good. It's sealed. Yeah, this product, you can still get hobby boxes of update for about 120 bucks, which is not too bad a price. I um if you have the money and you're an investor or collector, I think this is a great product. The rookie class is good. Even outside of the, you know, the big guys worth the debuts. There's some, like, right here. This one is a good card. That thing looks pretty good overall. So that is a nice card. This card was jumping up in price. I haven't looked recently. So pulling some solid rookies out of here so far. Just in general. Now if we can... Tommy Edmonds one that you never know on. Would love to pull the the US one. And there it is. That was a nice box. A US one Vlad Guerrero base. It looks pretty good. These, it's just a little bit of white on the top, but not much. These, these are going for quite a bit of money on the PSA 10s. Because a lot of them, this dark border up here has been having a lot of chipping. There's just the little bit, of, and I could probably wipe the little piece off that's kind of on there. You got to be careful. But I'm pretty happy with this opening so far. Be happier if I pulled a purple row bear. So we will see. Got only four of them. I thought I had five of them. Only four of them. Back to the inserts in the middle. Willie Stargell. There's a Russell Martin Gold. And we have a Glaber. See, this one would be one that I send to Investacard. That's a Glaber. Um, that's a Glaber gold with the cup and like this is another one i'm gonna start putting these i'm gonna start making an investor card pile and see how it works out if you haven't seen my investor card um video go check it out just taking a shot in the dark on that seeing how it goes and here's a k boom which that could be a good rookie i'm not top loading him yet but man i have a bunch i have i have all these guys labeled what i do is uh I open up a lot of flagship, Chris Bryant, and um, I label them, I sort them, so there's a trout. I sort them so when you go back, I can find the whole stack of without where I can do it quickly and find them, and there's the Acuna. But yeah, put them away. And if K-Boom takes off and his value goes up, I can go to the 2019 update. I can pull a stack of 100 of those and have them ready to go. So here we go. I actually have a few more of these. I saw a guy on Facebook post. He was at a Meyer in Michigan. And there were 15 of these. And I said, hey, he was, he was asking if people wanted them. And he was just charging the price plus the shipping. So... I uh, I bought 15 of them, paid goods and services. And at least I get a cub on the first one. Not a good cub by any means. So this will go in my personal collection. Tyler Chatwood. Terrible pitcher. Horrible signing. I think Theo Epstein's done some amazing things and to win the World Series with the Cubs is pretty amazing. However, that Chatwood signing was total garbage. These are open up way better. And here is a Herrera Cup. So that's actually not too bad a card. That's a nice looking card. Pays for the pack for sure. And if I got that on eBay right away, that's probably going for more than... I bet you I could sell that for 10 bucks right now. Because these just came out. 
I don't think I'm gonna have any time to do the, here's what I'm used to right there, is these things can be a challenge to get open. All right, who do we have here? Hopefully a rookie, not a rookie, shed long. But I will put that in a sleeve. And one more of those. And unfortunately, not a Louis Robert had a, what was it? Four and 350 chance, four packs, 350 cards in the set. No surprise that we did not pull the Louis Robert, but I guess I don't need a top loader for that one. So there is the purples. Decent one with that one. But I like the value of these packs. $3.49 plus tax. And here we go. And then you get the pack. Let's see what we get here. Hopefully we pull another. You know, this is the thing too. I think there's an online, or not an online, but retail exclusive insert set. And let's see, let's see what's in here. Nope, it's not. So last year, these had a retail exclusive insert set. And I was loving it because I was putting together full sets. And they were easy to move. And they were basically just awesome looking cards and paying for, paying for a lot of what I opened for the big rookie cards. So are we going to pull a Louie out of these? That would make these four packs really nice. The chances of that are not real good. Got a silver foil. Seattle team card. Blake Schnell. And a Daryl Strawberry. It's a cool looking uniform. Throwback. All right, we're down to two packs. I really appreciate your guys' support. Please like, subscribe, share, comment. Gaining some traction. Had a lot of people that are starting to like the content. Appreciate it. Let's keep it rolling. Have a great weekend. Got four Bowman Blasters coming after that, and I'm done for the weekend. And here's the 1960s Frank Robinson. There we got a Cobb. Last chance at a Louis Robert right here. Would love to pull one more. Not a good chance, but let's see what we got here. And there it is. That was well worth those packs. So I'm a pretty happy camper on this. I had, I had some serious coupons for what I purchased. I had a 750 off Meyer. Plus I had 10 bucks a dollar off each one of those single packs and loaded up some pretty nice rook just the Louis Robert's. So this is solid. Got another chrome turkey red. Not the one you want really. Severano. We got Tyler Glass now. I think he's a good, good pitcher. Syndergaard, Turkey Red. And then finish it off. A couple of these guys. So let me get these out of the way. I have some serious, serious sorting to do these next couple of weeks. And here's a couple of the inserts that I had laying around. Let me get these out of the way. Put this in a sleeve. Like I said, I think these chrome Turkey Reds are amazing. All right, so let me do a little housekeeping. Got some update inserts. Just get those out of the way. All right, we had the Keston Herrera. Meyer purple. Nice looking card. The other Meyer purples, eh, you know. And then really, here's the 
here is the stack, man. This is pretty good for the small amount that I open. This is pretty good. This is, again, Dark Horse. This is one you don't sell. If you are a collector, I highly encourage you to hold on to these. Rookie card, Father's Day Blue. I have no idea who this guy is. I have no idea how good he is, but if you sell this for a dollar to five bucks, you're making a huge mistake. Stick it in a box, and hopefully they become really good, and that card does well for you. Again, I'm holding on to that guy. I have no idea who he is. Let's see how the season plays out or how the next couple years play out. Had the US-1, Vladdy. Had the US-150, Keston Herrera. Had the Series 1, 276, Jordan Alvarez. And then to top it off, the small amount that we open, and this is 40 bucks worth of cards right here, right now. That paid for everything that I bought. And these graded are going to be an amazing five cards. So I'm pretty happy about that opening. Um, wish I could have got more of those blister packs. But again, really appreciate the support. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Good luck on your cards. Peace.